Hey, this is Father Robert from Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. Well, folks, we're here at a super secret location in San Jose, California. It's sort of the uber geek mecca. It's Netgear's headquarters. And we're in their lifestyle room. If you look behind me, you'll see Netgear's vision of Netgear everywhere, in your home, in your entertainment system, in your office. And I'm here with Tiffany Pham. Hello, Tiffany. Hi, nice to meet you. Who is the Netgear product line manager for a brand new line of ReadyNAS products? Yep. Tell me about them. That these are the ReadyNAS Ultra Series. Mm -hmm. We have the ReadyNAS Ultra 4 here, and then the ReadyNAS Ultra 6 here. So the difference is, is the 4-bay versus the 6-bay. OK. Now, I hear new product, but this kind of looks like something I've seen before. This looks a lot like the NVX. This looks a lot like the Pro, mm -hmm. just in a, a different shade of color. Is it really just sort of a rebranding of an old product? No, it's actually not. Um, the 2 actually has new hardware features. Oh, okay. So we have um, Intel Atom processors in them. The Ultra 4 has a single core, and then the Ultra 6 has a dual core. Okay, now, but I got to ask, the NVX and the Pro are some of the most successful products in the market. I mean, if you think of high quality, fast storage, you're going to think of the ReadyNAS line. It's just got to be, it's got to be part of that equation because mm -hmm. of the reputation that you've built. Right. Why would you want to mess with that? Well, we didn't really want to mess with it so much as we wanted to offer a solution for our home users, advanced oh. home users. So as you mentioned, our NVX and Pro are very great solutions for SMB and also small office, home office. Um, however, they don't have that multimedia component that most of the home, advanced home users want. Mm -hmm. So th these boxes offer that. We have three new partnerships that we're really excited about. One is with uh, TiVo. So we have a integration with the TiVo DVR. Hmm. We're the first and only NAS uh, storage group uh, that has the TiVo compatible um, certification. And then we also have a partnership with Skifta, a media shifting uh, technology, and Orb, which allows you to transcode your files so that you can play it back on your mobile device. OK, now I, I got to work my head around this. Uh, let's go to the first thing. You said TiVo certified. What exactly does that mean? It's actually TiVo compatible. OK, TiVo compatible. What mm -hmm. does that let me do? So with the, the TiVo uh, integration, you can essentially extend your TiVo DVR so that you never have to worry about running out of space on your TiVo. You can record them to your readiness and watch them back at a later date. So you mean I could put six two terabyte drives in the Ultra 6 and have 12 terabytes worth of storage for DVR? Essentially all your favorite shows. <laughs> OK. Now, I, I've actually heard of solutions like that before, mm -hmm. but they normally require 12 to 15 steps, and you kind of need a PhD in order to set it up correctly. Right. Is it going to be like that? Do I have to know the innards of a TiVo in order to make it work? No, the only thing that you would need to know is your TiVo media access key. And then you would just enable uh, the uh, embedded software on your front view um, setup wizard, and you're ready to go. All right, now that's TiVo. That's cool. That's already a selling point for mm -hmm. it. What was the next one? The next one is Skifta. Skifta, explain that to me. So Skifta allows you to uh, do media shifting. Essentially, you can play shift your media to a remote location okay. mm -hmm. using any DLNA compatible device. All you have to do is download the Skifta client on both ends, and the two will talk to each other. OK, anywhere. So anywhere in my network? Outside of your network, as long as you have an internet connection. So anywhere in my network, anywhere outside of my network, as long as I'm connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. OK, that's OK. Again, very, very cool. Mm -hmm. And the last thing was orb transcoding. Mm -hmm. Now explain that to me. So transcoding al allows you to convert your media files to the right format as well as the right size mm -hmm. um, so that you can play it back essentially on your PC or on a mobile device, for example, an iPhone or Android phone. Oh, so on the fly, it will, it will transcode. It will change the exactly. format so it will be compatible with whatever device I'm watching. It yes, it will offer the, um, the most optimal streaming. So what you're telling me is that this is really set up to be the center of your entertainment hub. You put all your content on this. It will be accessible anywhere, everywhere, on any device. Yep. So it allows you to store, share, and protect your device. It's essentially your digital brain for connected homes, right? So I like we're all brain. Yeah, yeah, we're all connected these days, and so it really allows you to take your media wherever you go, and play it back anywhere you are in the world. How much are these going to cost? Well, the Ultra Four comes in two, in two configuration. It comes in a distance configuration and also a half populated configuration. Okay. The uh, distance configuration is going to be retailed at $599. Oh. And the Ultra 6 also comes in a distance and a half populated configuration, and that will start off at $899. I have to say that that surprises me. I was expecting something in the $1,000 range. Mm -hmm. But what you've done is you've essentially put these in the same price class as some much, much lesser solutions from right. some of your competitors. 
so you've essentially made a no-brainer. If you're going to build something for your house, for your content, yeah. you get one of these. If you want the best home network mm -hmm. solution, the multimedia you know, device, storage device, it will allow you to take your media wherever you go and however you want to access it, this is the, the product for you. Okay, now we're definitely going to have to get some of these in the lab, give them a run for their money, see how they perform. Yeah. But in the meantime, if our viewers want to find out more about these units, where should they go? They should go to www.netgear.com slash ultra. All right. Well, that's all we've got for these units, but we're going to try to sneak into a couple more of the rooms here at Netgear headquarters. So stay tuned because we're going to bring you more gadget goodness. I'm Father Robert Ballas here. This is Tiffany Pham. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>